Want to learn how to get the most out of this storage space? You've come to the right place, and we're starting right now. Videos right, Oscar? Nah, he don't know. <laughs> so in today's video, we are going to tackle the basement. At least that's what we call it. What do you call it? Leave the comments below. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull everything out of this basement. Well, I got the basement empty. I thought I'd go ahead and just show you this. So I put up these hooks right here. I also put our trash bag here. This is our collapsible trash bag. We love this trash bag. And on this side, it's kind of hard to see. But what I've done is I put a hook up here and I keep my level right here. And I put some screws in here and I keep my tackle box right there. And these boxes go together. And notice that some of them have holes in the top of them. And that's going to be for the things that are wet in there and I'll show you later but this is how we organize it's awesome that they stack so this is the first box it's a flat tire and we're gonna check it out so as you can see what I include in my flat tire box is I'm gonna have vest safety vest and I've got this jack here that I thought was awesome you put it on your axle and you back it up and it jacks up your car like this and of course we all know what this is these are gonna be the leveling jacks and then I thought it was always like super smart to have a patch kit for your roof. If you don't have one, I would suggest it. And then I'd have the triangles to put out in case we have a flat so we don't get run over. Next box. This is a grill. So you're going to see what's in there. Pretty self-explanatory. Chimney for your charcoal, grill cleaner, tools. And in here, I would suggest if you don't have one of these, this is a folding shovel get a really good one they have some really cheap ones this one is a tack life it works well it also has a cutter on the side and a cutter right here so this is the sewer box as you can tell right there inside my sewer box I've got a rhino dump hose and I suggest that you get a good one with an end cap on it latex gloves oxycam holding tank treatment a donut some parks require this to go into it and dawn dishwashing soap that's what i put in my tanks when i drive and this is great this is a foldable one gallon bucket and i fill this up when i flush my tanks and i go in and I dump it in the sink and dump it in the bathtub and one other note you notice that inside here this is red so that it catches any moisture that may go down in there and also i drill holes in both sides of my sewer box so that ventilation can come back in and out of there these are going to be my spare things it's going to be like my cord my sewer it looks like this when it's inside the box and inside the box you're going to see where this is a 50 to 30 amp dog bone and then i also have a spare sewer hose you better have one and then also we have a 30 amp long extension cord uh, you don't want to get bit be too short so this is our water box and this is what it looks like inside so inside my water box as anything that has like any kind of liquid i drill holes in both sides of my box here so there's ventilation I also put a towel down just in case so what i've got here is we like to hook up a dual water so that we have a sprayer on one side so that's how we like to do it at a campsite we also have a long hose uh so an extension hose and also an extra water regulator and then this is our water purifier i like to make sure i keep this thing straight so i put it in here and as you'll notice there's holes drilled in both sides of this just to keep because there's water inside there and i don't want it mildewing and then this is going to be a spare water hose it's one of those slinky kind i'm not sure what you call it with a sprayer on it but also inside here this is a thing that they call this is a thing they call a water bandit in case you can't screw on to the park uh, water faucet you go in there it screws on with rubber and you get your water in there this is our leveler box and so what we call it this is what it looks like on the inside so inside the box you're gonna see a few things 
on our level of box how <laughs> people make fun of us for these man these are alignment tools you stick on the back we use them every single time yeah up a few arguments i'll tell you that much and then we always keep this chuck in there so that we can put it in our drill for our levelers because it's our leveling box and then this is the bottom of our our uh, i don't know what you call it, our jack you know where we crank it up and down but we don't need this because we use another top to set it on and then these are our levelers so we call this our setup tools box and this is the box that I use the most, and this is how it looks when it's in. I'm going to show you just a little bit before I take it all out. I use a dishwasher uh, silverware container is what this is, and I put all the heavily used stuff in here. Like these are my scissors, my dad, and my pliers, the plug, electric cord, uh, do some bolts in there. I'll show you more in a minute. And this is, of course, when we set up, this is the box that I'm going to go to. I'm going to pull this out first because it has everything I need. I'll show you a little more. May have to make this a two-parter just because there's so much stuff in here. But I always use extra rope in here, and then I also use these. If you're not familiar with these, these are uh, cable wraps. These are fantastic. They're like handcuffs. I use them all the time on hoses. They're very, very sturdy. Uh, I do a rag, lighter, rubber hammer, hatchet, tent stakes, hammer, air pressure gauge, gloves, our surge protector. Uh, WD-40, our bug spray, and I'm going to do tons of these zip ties, and this is also where I keep my four-way. So like I was telling you before, this came out of an old dishwasher that I found, and this was the place for the silverware. And inside here, this is like the most used items that I have, so I always keep a pair of scissors in here. I keep something to mark with. I keep an extra clamp, I keep some pliers, I keep a multi-plug in here, and something you need not to do without, guys, is you need to get some uh, pipe tape, just in case you get a leak in there. And this also has fuses for my our outside lights, and it also has a large carabiner, just in case I need it. And then also, uh, spend the money and go ahead and get it yourself a really good 10-foot multi-plug extension cord. Very nice. And then over here, you're gonna see, this is where I keep my bungee cords, and this is where I, I keep my, I call it paracord. So leave the comments below. I know there's a name, I can't think of it. And I keep this in there. And then something really important that I do is I keep this in here. Oh, sorry. I keep this in here. Inside here, there's some important things. There's like some, you need to keep some clamps, and you need big clamps, and you need little clamps. And also something that's going to hurt you is that goes in to our sway bars in case one of those clips fall out, which it's happened to me before. And then inside here, there's just going to be like a lot of screws and a lot of things in there. And one thing you need to do is you need to put screws and bolts together like this. And there's also some extra washer for the water in case the police come by, get you, you know, the guy on the golf cart. So I just keep like a whole multitude of screws and things like that in there. You never know. One other thing, guys, I was going to show you. This is how I keep my tape. So I always keep my tape on rings, or I just put a wire through it like this. And that's because if you say somebody, hell, go, go grab my tape, they don't have to go, what tape? So it's all on the same ring. And basically, I just wired it so that I could bring it off the ring like this if I need it. It's very handy. So our next box, we just basically, that's the end of those other kind of boxes. And then we start putting random items into these so what's inside this box is this is where we keep our lights that we hang out on to our patio and also I got these rings from Dollar Tree and I just cut them off I think I'm not sure where they were can you see that but I cut them off and I just hang them up there it's like super easy and then this is our happy camper sign that we use we put out and then of course you need a frisbee and then of course I love kites, so this parafoil kite's the easiest. It goes into a bag, no sticks, it's easy, low wind, and a couple flags that we hang out. So this is the uh, long box that we have, and what we do is we keep our rug in here, our outdoor rug, and I roll it up just enough to get it in there, and if you'll see over here, this is our tablecloth. I'm going to put it in another bag because I don't like it touching the dirty rug. So I'm going to put it in a bag, but it stores nicely right there. So that's what it looks like inside. 
So this is what's on the inside of this box, and you're going to see here that this is a very long extension cord. I love this the way to wind this up on here. It's very, very handy. And then that's Oscar barking, and then we have not one, but two spare hoses in case we're really far from the water. And this was the handcuff that I was talking about a while ago. You unhook it like this, and it goes in, snaps in. These are so handy. We also have an extra uh, water regulator just in case we need it. And then, of course, we have our slinky so that we can put our hose on it when we have full hookups. And we also carry this in there just as a bonus. I mean, it's not storage, but we do carry it in there. If you are not familiar with this, we call it a rat fan. And it puts out more air than any other Oscars just wanted. Uh, puts out more air than any other fan you can get. It's directional also. Super heavy duty. And on top of that, it also has a high-low. It also has a light on it, which is super handy. And it also has 110 on the front of it. We take this every single time we go, and you can move it to wherever you need it. So I would seriously consider, we don't buy a cheap one. No, this is a power cat. I've had it for at least seven years. So it's awesome. So guys, did you find that helpful? Hey, me and Oscar want to, because that's kind of why we make these videos, just to pass on the information to you and hope that it helps you. If you haven't already, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And if it was helpful for you, leave some comments below. I'd like to check it out, read some of the things that you do. So until the next video, We'll check you later.